So this is Congresswoman Nancy Mays, and I have a question for all of you out there in the audience, especially if you're married men, especially if you are black activists, civil rights heroes in your own mind, and that question is, is this white woman, is this temptress worth throwing away your reputation, potentially throwing away your marriage, potentially throwing away your entire career, because that's what we got to talk about today, because apparently after this ridiculously stupid exchange on CNN that we're going to get into, Michael Eric Dyson, one of our top race hustlers in the nation, decided to slide up in them DMs and ask Nancy Mace for more photos and was also sending her smiley faces and kissy faces. Yes, we're talking about old people versus technology, we're talking about hitting on them sweet, sweet, tempting, evil white racist women because he calls her racist in this segment, and that's what we gotta go over today. But before we get into that, I want to thank everybody who supports this channel via actualjusticewarrior.com slash join. Oh, give me the money. Give you give me the money, okay? We can talk about Kamala Harris's Google ads, like literally taking headlines from mainstream media and rewriting them, which should be against Google ads policies. But what's stupid is being is allowing people, criminals, to go into stores in California uh, and not being able to arrest them unless it's nine hundred or nine hundred fifty dollars and more. The problem and is you that see that's not actually what's true. And you see that's videos not actually of what people the law is. going into stores in these blue cities and blue states, stealing merchandise and not being stopped. We've all seen these videos. So but should be, Donald Trump not be allowed to go into a store because he's a convicted? Well, I don't think anybody at this table should be surprised that Donald Trump stood up for 45 minutes, an hour or more, taking questions, giving a speech, because if you're holding your breath for an Oscar nod that he did that, don't hold your breath because everyone, no one's going to believe you. This is what he does. He stands, he gives speeches, he takes the questions, he gives the answers. And to date, more than three weeks in, Kamala Harris hasn't given a single interview. She hasn't come on your program. She's not answering questions. It's She's like not Kamala, giving speeches. First of all, it's not Kamala, it's Kamala. So the clip that I'm showing you is from a CNN panel from August 18th of this year. And you can actually hear as Nancy Mace is talking about what is going on in the state of California with retail theft being completely unchecked that she created the gravest crime in the history of this country which was of course mispronouncing Kamala Harris's name now I actually try and give an effort in order to pronounce this name but it's pretty difficult from time to time because people have been calling her Kamala this whole time and by the way I mean people in both parties and it's never been corrected but all of a sudden it is evil white racism and you're an evil white racist if you stumble on the pronunciation of this Indian in origin name, which by the way, I'm going to emphasize that throughout the course of this segment after we hear Michael Eric Dyson cry about this. Program. She's not answering questions. It's she's like Kamala, not first speeches. of all. It's not Kamala. It's, it's Kamala. And she's not yet the candidate. She's only right. been in office, only been a candidate for three and a half weeks. She's been weeks, vice so. president for three and a half Yeah, and Trump went a whole <laughs> primary season without even taking and doing a debate. So, and you know, he, but you can't. It's stupid because the Republicans in this country but, but voted false. for him, nominated him. She didn't earn a single vote in the Republican. But she's amazing. Amazing. So right there, you see the beginning of this CNN panel completely devolving into chaos with this individual who is not Michael Eric Dyson saying excuse me it's Kamala you have to pronounce it right and then of course he proceeds to make excuses for why she can't act like a regular normal candidate now of course Kamala Harris is not a regular normal candidate she stole the nomination from Joe Biden but at this point three weeks in she had refused to do an interview with the press because of course the media was running a full court blitz propaganda campaign for her and by the way even to this day, right now at this moment, she has done very few public interviews. Now, of course, Mace accurately points out that Kamala Harris did not earn a single vote in the Democratic primary. Joe Biden got the votes in the Democratic primary. And the reason why she probably covered up Joe Biden's dementia for all that time is because she knew for a fact, had they run a Democratic primary, she had a 0% chance of winning it. That's why this Kamala Joy thing and everybody being all excited about her is so funny to me because in reality this is one of the last candidates the Democratic base would have chosen but all of a sudden after a media propaganda campaign they're trying to convince you that she's the second coming of Barack Obama minus the charisma minus any talent for politics minus anything that made Obama Obama she, she's the second Obama. It's a false equivalence between what Donald Trump is doing as an autocrat 
as a fascist, as a dictatorially he is not inclined a man. That's oh, just, that's, the man's that's aspirations crazy. are huge. But the point is that Donald Trump has lied so repeatedly that we normalize his mendacity, his misogyny, his hatred for the ordinary citizen who happens to think logically about these issues. Now, you might be thinking that Michael Eric Dyson right here is doing the race hustle thing. He's like his mendacity, his misogyny, where he's trying to build up and all that. But in reality, what's going on behind the scenes is he's trying to impress Nancy Mace. He's trying to throw himself out there to see if this white woman temptress is actually into him as we are going to discover later on. But I want to get to this crucial part about the mispronunciation of Kamala's name. Kamala Harris has more pronouns on her website than she does policy. The only thing she has on there is donate. She's running a Seinfeld campaign. The show is about nothing. So I don't know who this white guy is right here, but he definitely had a solid line right there. So I'm leaving that in, even though this isn't really what this whole segment is about. Very vulnerable we'll talk position. about rerun Kamala's, Kamala's, uh, Kamala. Kamala. You had it right. You almost got it. I will say, I will say Kamala's name it. any way that I want to. No, but Kamala's, but you mispronounced her. You also misjudged. You're just kidding. I'm doing it again. Mispronouncing her name. That's why I'm going to acknowledge her name. And if I purposely, if I purposely mispronounced your name, that would not be appropriate. Policies are Joe Biden's policies. She owns it. Normalizing that kind of viciousness, man. Thirty-three times. She was the vice president on Joe Biden's bill. She was thirty-three times the deciding vote on Joe Biden's bill in the Senate. Let me just say this, because this Congresswoman is a wonderful human being. But 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 when you disrespect Kamala Harris by saying you will call her whatever you want, I know you don't intend it to be that way. That's the history and legacy of white disregard for the humanity of black people. So now you're calling me racist. I didn't say. I just said you weren't racist. That is complete. You don't have to intend racism to accomplish it. No, no, no. You are intending that I'm racist. Your disrespect of Kamala Harris is part. So right here, I want you guys to understand what we're seeing. He is definitely 100% calling Nancy Mace a racist on television. He's saying that you are in line with the long history of white disregard for people of color by mispronouncing Kamala Harris's name. He refers to this as being anti-black, even though, again, Kamala Harris's name is an Indian name. It has nothing to do with black people. This is just part of the media hoax related to her, and it's absurd for him to make the case. Her disrespect of women. She doesn't know what a woman is, and if, if 25 years ago... Black I women became, don't have the ability to tell black women who, who paid the price of blood to make this country what it is to tell them they're not real women. 25 they years ago... For your baby 25 years ago, I became the... In fact, weirdly enough, Kamala sounds more of a black name than Kamala, the actual Indian pronunciation. But you will notice that Michael Eric Dyson is going to throw out this bait. He's going to try to engage with Nancy Mace. And then when she calls him out on it, he's going to back away slowly out of the room into the bushes. And the reason why this is absolutely crucial is because this is the exact way that their interaction worked out post this after Nancy Mace revealed that after the CNN panel, he decided that he was going to send her flirty text messages. Uh, chair recognizes the gentlelady from South Carolina, Ms. Mace. Uh, thank you, Mr. Chairman. Uh, my colleagues across the aisle said that those that, that cannot pronounce Kamala's name correctly are elementary age children. I would like to enter into the record an article by Newsweek saying Bill Clinton pronounces Kamala Harris' name wrong during DNC speech. Bill Clinton, along with Al Sharpton, rapper Lil John, let's not forget that Joe Biden can't say her name right, neither can Supreme Court Justice Sonia Sotomayor, and this morning on Morning Joe, Joan Bias called her a camel. So I don't want to hear it. It's fake outrage. I would like to also enter into the record a screenshot of a text message I received from the uh, esteemed professor from Vanderbilt, Michael Eric Dyson, after my CNN interview, begged me for photos. In this text, he says, after calling me a uh, racist on CNN, Shh, don't tell anybody we look good together, and sent me a kissy emoji. Without then objection. The guy, the guy says I'm gorgeous in all these photos. I don't think he's that bent out of shape on how anyone pronounces Kamala. Uh, and if we're going to have that standard, you got to hold it to both sides, not just one or, the, one or the other. So this is absolutely a savage display a month later by Nancy Mace. It is honestly cold-blooded, but then and again, Michael Eric Dyson, the married man, has decided that he is going to hit on this white temptress that he believes is upholding the long history of white people disregarding people of color. And what I love about this is that Michael Eric Dyson, after being too much of a coward to call her a racist and then flirting with her post the appearance on CNN despite being married, 
decided to call her a racist on social media because now, oh my God, what a, what a, what an evil white racist. She called me out for, for, for hitting on her. Quote from his Twitter account. The ridiculous lies told by Nancy Mace in an effort to smear my name because of her anger at being checked for her insensitive disregard for at VP. I had no intent with her to do anything but be nice and her white woman's tears and mendacity are all in the service of lies and distortions. I was wrong about one thing. She is, all caps, a bigot and a racist. So first of all, I just want to point out that Michael Eric Dyson is obviously the racist in this situation. He is a race hustler. That is how he makes his money because he brings up white woman tears, even though Nancy Mace not crying in this situation. She's making fun of him because this dude was shooting his shot and it's absolutely embarrassing. But of course, he has to invoke the Karen archetype, the white woman crying because by the way, White women crying is offensive to race hustlers like this because how dare you express emotions as a woman as long as your skin is white. You're disgusting for that, according to Michael Eric Dyson, but disgusting in an oh-so-good way that he's going to be sliding into your DMs asking if you'll cry with him if you catch my drift. Hey, my friends, Michael Eric Dyson here. I uh, just want to clear something up, uh, a vicious untruth and rumor that's being spread by Congresswoman Nancy Mace claiming I was trying to hit on her. So I'm trying to figure this out. So this is our complete text exchange that she says proves I was trying to hit on her. Um, we were on CNN together. She was vicious. She was nasty. She refused to call Kamala Harris by her right name. We had a bitter exchange about that. She claims uh, in the interview that I called her racist when I went out of my way to say she wasn't a racist. I said, you're a wonderful woman. Um, but let me say this to you, because I know you probably didn't understand this or mean it. But when you call Kamala Harris out of her name, that is perpetuating a legacy of inequality and of white subordination uh, of black people. Now, the reason why I showed you so much of that CNN exchange is because Michael Eric Dyson now, in hindsight, is saying, oh, Nancy Mace was so disgusting, so horrible, so vicious in that CNN panel that it absolutely, oh my God, was so horrible. Now, of course, he followed this up by texting her about how gorgeous she looked and all that, but you saw the exchange yourself. She wasn't the nasty one. They were the ones with the faux outrage related to the pronunciation of the vice president's first name, the Indian name. They were the ones calling it evil white racism, even though they didn't say you're an evil white racist specifically. He just said it's anti-black. And by the way, you're upholding white disregard for people of color's feelings. Little did we know she would disregard Michael Eric Dyson's feelings, and that would be the actual issue. But yeah, look at the way he's reframing the whole exchange. Again, that's why it's crucial that I showed you clips from the exchange and I will link it in full in the description. Oh, so you call me a racist? No, I didn't. So she's looking for some reason to try to exploit the situation. This is the text exchange. Uh, I sent her, uh, Abby Phillip, the host of the show, suggested we take pictures. I said, let's take a picture. She said, Abby said, when you um, um, post it, then tag me too, and then... Um, We'll have fun because the whole point was two bipolar opposites, Michael Eric Dyson on one side, Nancy Mace on the other. So what I love about this is that Michael Eric Dyson is a grown ass man. And just like many a grown ass man who get themselves into situations like this, the way that he describes it and shifts blame on everything away from himself is absolutely hilarious in that it is perfectly indicative of cowardice because he immediately blames the host of CNN for even taking the picture with her. And he's like, yeah, the whole point of the picture that, that the CNN host ended up pitching was that we were polar opposite. So, and all that we're, we're, we're just like that and then he ends up describing the text exchange and I just want to ask people out there in the audience that if somebody sent this to a woman that you know and she asked you what does this mean would you say that guy's hitting on you so I sent her and she said great pick uh, and I said shh don't tell anybody we look good together with a uh, laughing face uh, and a kissy face and my point was 
Shh, don't tell anybody because we are bipolar opposites. You're on one side of the spectrum and I'm on the other side of the spectrum. That guy's hitting on you. I hate to break it to you. On top of that, I will make a proclamation right now from my altar as the leader amongst men in this particular situation. And that is as follows. As a man, stop sending emojis. Stop doing it. Cut it out. It's not cool. It's not acceptable behavior. It's ridiculous and absurd. And again, it would be one thing for him to do the laughing emoji on its own, but he inserted the kissy face emoji, which again, if he followed my rule of being an adult man and not sending emojis to women on the internet or via text message, this would not have been an issue. But instead, he did this and left it open for interpretation by Nancy Mace. And I think the most reasonable interpretation when when a guy is privately messaging you kissy faces and talking about how good you look together is that he's hitting on you and i hate to break it to you guys but that is also my interpretation and it has nothing to do with nancy mace being a republican congresswoman because honestly i didn't really know anything about nancy mace until this scandal actually broke and she said ha 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 and i said well your gorgeousness makes the photo so there's that uh and i a little smiley face again I'm just saying that trying to be nice to her in the belief and the effort that if I'm nice to her and I prove that we don't have any bitter consequences from our fracas on television, that we can be relatively kind to each other and I'm being nice to her. There's no hitting on you. I said, by the way, I've spoken twice at the Citadel. She said, oh, that's awesome. And sent three American flags and I hit the um, exclamation point. Again, seeing an old man with all them gray hairs talk about this text exchange like this makes me laugh more than the actual content of the message. But again, this guy kept pushing it. He had the kissy face and all that, and then he said, you look gorgeous, and now he's talking about how she hearted the message, but then she removed the heart from the message, and he's like, and she did that because she knew what was up. She put a heart on the, well, your gorgeousness makes the photo, so there's that. Then she removed the heart two, two days later because she knew she was up to some mayhem. I ain't tried to hit on this woman on no day. So let me just point out that there's a number of reasons why somebody could heart a message or something like that and then remove the heart later. And it doesn't necessarily have to be a sinister type of motivation thing. In the moment, you could see it and say, oh, heart, I love that. Thank you or whatever. Think nothing of it. But then you realize in the context of the conversation, it's kind of weird for him to talking about how good you look together, send you a kissy face emoji. So then you end up removing the heart. Again, both of these people kind acting like middle school children at this moment of time and that is making me laugh but michael eric dyson breaking this down saying she's being so sinister as he's hyper analyzing these text messages really makes me laugh because it's like that guy that doesn't know what's going on between him and the girl and he needs to show it to his friends so we could say you're, you, we're not that into you and by the way some of the top comments on this particular message are people who say michael this is an easy interpretation from any woman that you're trying to hit on somebody you're over convoluted explanation is kind of ridiculous and on top of that you have a bunch of other different various replies from black women who don't like the idea that he was being nice to a white woman so this is no bueno for michael eric dyson if we're being perfectly honest she removed the heart these are other people that i interacted with recently my friends some of them uh my friend allison uh i said nice you look gorgeous look out texas here she comes talking about that. Nell Painter, a world-renowned historian, on her Instagram, I posted after she posted about she's a Mary Ellen von uh, der Heiden Fellow in Letters of the American Academy in Berlin, on in public, I said gorgeous and brilliant all at once. Um, a heart with um, a, a, a heart, a face that's smiling with hearts and a kissy face, right? I said, keep up the great work. What even am I listening to? 
What is this man saying? What is he doing? He is tracking down his Instagram comments on other women's posts that are not his wife. And he's saying, look, I, I put the hearty eyes and the kissy face and all of that. It's perfectly normal. Bro, this just makes you look thirsty. I I'm not saying anything. I'm just saying. But uh, yeah, the fact that you reuse and rehash the same lines, not, not very nice. Also, it is a little bit different for you to say you look gorgeous, which is what he's focusing on. Again, another bad liar technique that I tend to notice where they harp on something specific rather than the overall context. And he's not actually addressing the we look good together blah, and then he ended up adding that her gorgeousness makes the photo again you thirsting bro cut it out you're making me uncomfortable michael eric dyson and not in the way that you normally do when you're race hustling and i know you're trying to stir up racial hatred in the country making it worse but just in the awkwardness in your presentation then there is my friend terry who i was giving tickets to for the Democratic National Convention. I said, you know I can if I will. Everybody and their mama want these tickets for today. You look gorgeous as always. Then my colleague, Lisa, at Vanderbilt, when we took pictures, I sent them to her and I said, me and Miss Gorgeous. And then Councilwoman Mary uh, Sheffield, who is a, a councilwoman in Detroit, and I said, gorgeous and brilliant leader, bless you and thank God for your courage, strength, and leadership. And then my dear friend, Susan Taylor, a renowned editor, queen, that's what I call her, so good to see you today. You look gorgeous as always, and your soul-inspiring conversation was uplifting as always. Feel better, love y'all. Please stop. Michael, Michael Eric Dyson, C cut it out. Just, just no, no, no more, no more. I, I really, genuinely, and truly do do not want to hear all the different various women that you call gorgeous because a, it makes it kind of a meaningless compliment, and b, it's odd, it's weird. He's saying he's doing this to his colleagues and whatnot. If this were a white person with this many messages, he would call this sexual harassment. If this were a Republican with this many messages, he would call this sexual harassment for other people but it seems like this is how he rolls behind the scenes and it's not a good indicator of a uh, of, of this man's uh, judgment again behind the scenes and then finally uh to dana bash well, i congratulated her on the interview she did with kamala harris and then on another interview saving people of color saying people of color are eating cats that's racism i was quoting her i said thank you dana bash Besides being brilliant and courageous, you also look gorgeous. Now look, to be perfectly fair to Michael Eric Dyson, is it entirely possible that this is a miscommunication, signals getting crossed and all that? Yes, 100% that is in fact possible. However, is it also likely that all these different various comments and messages that he is sending to other women that he encounters are him just being a horn dog and trying to flirt with everyone? Yes, that is also possible as well. You don't understand when some guys get some level of fame, they end up trying to leverage that in order to sleep with different various women. I know this is a phenomenon that many of you have never heard of in my life, but trust me, I know from seeing these people behind the scenes that this is definitely 100% a thing that happens. Now, that being said, the thing that really is a big red flag for me is the fact that after the exchange, very publicly, he's saying, I'm not calling her a racist. I wouldn't do that. Said that on CNN, said that after the fact, but immediately, and I mean immediately, Immediately, when she puts out this message, his tweet says, this woman be a racist, this woman evil white racism, and I have that proof, bigot racist, even though the only thing that has changed is that she revealed this particular message and how she felt about this message. Now, he also says there's overall context that she did not enter into the public record, and honestly, that's on Nancy Mace because the earlier messages are actually worse than the later messages, but, you know, I, I, that's just my opinion. That's what I think about this situation. I know. I don't know, Michael Eric Dyson, he's very upset and very angry. I ain't hitting on Nancy Mace. I often acknowledge people's gorgeousness and men's too by everybody. So my point is that this is a woman trying to exploit a situation, trying to pretend as if I was trying to hit on her. She literally has that text exchange that I read the whole of you, a whole of it to you. I ain't trying to holler at her. I ain't trying to be with her. I, I have not dated white women. 
Not that that's a problem. All three of my wives have been seven to 11 years older. Now again, right there, absolutely hilarious because the number one issue that he's gonna run into is the fact that people, and specifically black people, black women, are not gonna like the idea that he's hitting on a white woman. And he says, I have never dated a white woman. I'm super pro-black and all that. I just want you guys to know that. I was just texting a sitting member of Congress about how good we look, throwing in the kissy faces, and then telling her she looks gorgeous. But trust me, I say that to everyone woman on the internet.com every woman on the television.com and every woman in private text messages none of you are special and again michael eric dyson I, I don't know how your wife feels about this this is an unnecessary controversy for you to bring up but i would think based on the fact that you've been married not once not twice but three times that maybe just maybe you might have some problems in your personal life with maintaining a uh, monogamous relationship with your wife especially with all the fame and attention that you're getting again where in that text exchange am i hitting on you no what you're trying to do is generate nastiness and viciousness because you're so bitter because you got your butt whipped that night because i told you then that what you were doing is wrong and let me correct one thing i did say that night i said you're a wonderful woman and then i said i know you don't intend to do this and she said oh are you calling me a racist and of course i said no i wasn't let me correct myself you are a racist. You are a racially charged, um, small-minded, bigoted person who is trying to exploit a situation to try to make me believe, to make people believe that I was hitting on you when I've just now read the entire exchange, which is false. I've told, I've read other exchanges with people where I've called them gorgeous and wasn't trying to hit on them. And so your attempt is sad and sorry so i read the tweet where he did this i didn't know he was going to do this right here but you could just hear the bitterness hear the defensiveness and then he's like oh all these other exchanges and all these other times that could have been me hitting on all those other women clear me of this responsibility and by the way you are racist 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 don't listen to her don't ever listen to a word that she says because evil white racism oh my god dismiss her immediately again i will hope that michael eric dyson experiences something that he has attacked other people for which is a bunch of different various women coming out and recontextualizing his exchanges with them because that would be absolutely hilarious and again based on the way that he jumps on it for people that he doesn't like it would be nice for him to experience that but in reality i'm not actually wishing that upon him everybody deserves the benefit of the doubt i can understand how this could be read as just an awkward exchange miscommunication and all that but the fact of the matter is he can't even give the great Mace to Mace, and yes, that rhymed, to say that maybe she read it that way, but in this overall context, that's not true. Instead, he says, racist, 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 ignore her, ignore her, racist, oh, uh, ugly, I hate, I hate white women, please black women, keep giving me money, racist, racist, Nancy Mace is a racist. Now look, of course, I want to know what you guys think down in the comments below about this whole situation, am I being fair and equal and just to Michael Eric Dyson, or is Nancy Mace just making up stuff with her white woman? woman tears racist 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 never ever talk to her ever again let me know your thoughts down in the comments below if you like the video show by leaving a like subscribe for more content follow me on the social media support me via support links in the description of this video this has been me talking about quite a hilarious situation involving michael eric dyson till next time